How's it going everyone? It's Sarasun North back with an all new video and today I'm going to be showing you how you can create some simple sort of fade effect inside of videos. Now fade effect is one of the most used one just in case if people want to see those transitions all over the videos. So we're going to be doing this today. Make sure that you like and subscribe for more. With that getting said, let's get started. So I have these five videos and it's all about one video that I have here. I split it out by pressing Ctrl Shift B to split that and I use this one to create some five sort of sequences of that particular video now if I want you can create uh, go ahead and change the opacity of these and that is gonna be pretty much like what we're looking for like changing the opacity and then coming out slowly up but but the thing is that if you want to go ahead and animate all of these that is gonna take time because you have to keep in this and then this and then this and go ahead just like that so the thing is that we want to use something very particular and that is going to be making sure that everything goes fine let's go ahead and create a new solid for this tutorial and I'm going to be naming like fade solid and that is going to be a solid up here now press T on your keyboard to enable the opacity and take it down to zero for the start I'm going to be making it 100% and let's keyframe the opacity and move around one second this is a 29.97 drop frames video so it's going to be like 30 frames over to it and I'll take down the opacity if you press Ctrl K. That's going to cover the sequence. Uh, our composition setting is you can see it's 29.97 drop frames. So make sure that uh, you have the video of compression, whatever you don't want. Okay. Now, also, I'm going to be right clicking on the keyframe, like keyframe assistance, and clicking on easy ease. And that is going to slow it down. So if you play it now, j just RAM preview is pretty much all always needed. So you can see that we're having a pretty good solid fade effect coming up at the very start now the thing is that you need not to go ahead and animate this opacity for every single thing you can always go ahead and check out where your video ends and where it starts so that out here in five seconds I can copy this now you can see I'm, I'm having it in five seconds so if I go ahead I would need to be on pretty much good timing so like 22 and it goes like from 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 and 31 32 so this is gonna be like 10 sequences difference but we're having around 30 of them so we can always go ahead and animate it just like that so around 18 or maybe 20 I can paste the keyframe and I can move it and adjust it according to the similar of my allowed timing so if I play it now you can see it's pretty much working but right around here let's see what you get and just like that it goes away so it comes up and slowly fades away and then comes up again now we can always go ahead and animate it here now just in case if you want you don't want the opacity to go from or uh, from the start to down like that you can see it's going from there so you can go ahead and create a keyframe right around here by clicking this diamond icon and that is going to convert up the keyframe and you can take it down to zero so what we get now is it comes up and holds the opacity to zero percent right there and then slowly fades away from there so you can see it's working like that now I can move this keyframe a bit mid so we can get that sort of fade effect and that is gonna be it and now you can always use this ahead and now animate this according to yourself like this now you can come up here maybe right around there and come up here right around there and there we go now we have it pretty much done so if you see the whole video the start goes pretty much good then it fades away switches to another transition then it fades away and right around here fades away switches to another transition similarly it goes there now if I want to go ahead and animate the end you can make sure that it's come up right around here create a keyframe around 0% opacity and move it a bit forward let's go to the very end and make it 100% so if you go ahead to the last of it you can see it's working up oh, there we have it so I hope you enjoyed this video this is a very very easy trick this so that you need not to animate all of these you can just lock these layers and also you can parent these layers to these but maybe just unlock them before and parent these layers to them so that just in case if you move the solid anywhere the, these all layers are going to be moving with it so if I lock these layers if I just move the solid uh, maybe just go to my move tool and if I move the solid all of the layers will be moving with it so that we do not lose the le uh, means just lease the uh, proportion of our video so that is going to be it I hope you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe for more videos and coming this was just a tip video I hope it will be short so I hope you enjoyed it I'm Thorsten Graf from Fuzzy Tech signing out Thank you.